So we started Cocktails and Drinks Speakeasy in 2012, and I think when we started Speakeasy then, between the two of us, we wanted to create a bar that, that is a kind of space where we ourselves kind of wanted to go on our off days, so, and that kind of a bar did not exist. So purely a neighborhood kind of a joint where you could just go without having to kind of dress up or uh, even bother about how many people were there in the bar on that particular evening. Or who you with. Exactly. You know, so it was more of a very chilled out neighborhood bar that could exist anywhere in the world. So, you know, it's like a typical neighborhood bar. That was the whole idea of creating speakeasy. Yeah, and, and, and we wanted to have an original bartender's bar. Uh, I mean, a bar that is run by bartenders and uh, all about cocktails, all about, you know, the vibe had to be there um, for people to just walk in and talk to the bartender. Even if they're alone, they go back with a friend. Uh, and that's, that's really what the central thought of, you know, creating Speaks was. And I don't think that kind of a bar existed. So, you know, we were also quite yeah. skeptical, but we were quite confident that we would be able to pull it through. It took us a little time, but yes, it did. And then I think uh, three and a half years ago, almost four years ago, Sidecar happened. Uh, purely because, you know, we both based out of Delhi all this while. And we always wanted to open up a bar in Delhi. Even even when we were doing Speaks, that is the kind of bar that we wanted to do in Delhi, but we couldn't afford it then. But then four years ago, we were very serious about doing a bar in Delhi, not a Speaks, but definitely another bar in this bar. Focus around cocktails Maybe and the like yeah. chilled out vibe. Yeah, that is how it all. Happened. Yeah, and I think Delhi was always our dream location. I don't think that we ever wanted to go to Gurgaon. It was because we didn't have the money that time, that's why we went to Gurgaon. But South Delhi was always our, you know, that's where we always <coughs> wanted to be. And I think, you know, God has his plans and I feel that, you know, <laughs> God sent us straight Good to the nice. basement. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I mean, Sidecar happened and, uh, you know, and, and I think it, it happened. A stroke of luck, we are very happy with the location now and you know everything worked out really well. Um, it also happened at the right time, I feel that I think we were ready, we had the experience of running Speaks six years before that. I think we learned a lot from our mistakes, uh, saw a lot of lot of reality on ground actually of how businesses are run. Uh, we were, let's say, I mean for the lack of a better word, naive in terms of business owners. Uh, we, we put in all our savings and, and started a bar. Uh, in today's day, it could be considered full full hardy. Uh, but back then, I mean, we thought we were very, very brave and we were living the dream. Um, and I think by the time Sidecar happened, we learned a lot. And I think we 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 did we were able to crease out a lot of lot of the issues that we would have otherwise had. Okay, coming to recognition, I think why do recognition happen and why do people and why 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 Sidecar? Why Sidecar is in let's say the world's 50 best list or the Asia's 50 best list. I think it is, from what I understand it, it's purely about being a bar, which is not just about cocktails. It is definitely about good customer service. The focus is at the end of the day, we are people from the hospitality business and therefore it's always important to take care of your customers first. But at the same time, in a more defined manner, I think that's more important. If, if I'm a cocktail bar, if I'm a bartender's bar, I need to be true to my concept. Uh, you know, if it's a bartender's bar, people come here with the idea of experiencing a true bartender's bar, which is which means the bar is the hero, which means the bartender is somebody who is always interacting with the guests, making fabulous drinks, but at the same time creating that atmosphere. It is not driven by the DJ. The music is there to complement, like the decor is there to complement, but it is the bar that is the hero. And, and I think when you're true to your concept, it defines your place more than anything else. You know? And it also defines it to the customers as well. People would want to come to a bar like Sidecar on a Monday, Tuesday. Uh, they might opt for another bar on a Saturday, Sunday. So it, it could be from that point of view as well. Right? I think that, yeah. that kind of works. Yeah. Very well defined product. And also this, the, the other thing is the warmth. And I feel that I think, uh, I think bars are about that. Bars are very are supposed to be social places mm -hmm. where you go and almost 
lose those inhibitions which liquor should be ideally doing mm -hmm. but also uh, you know what what happens is that you end up like you know coming in not knowing people but you go back you know hopefully take making a friend or two maybe in the bar maybe outside the bar and i think that was the experience that was uh, you know that 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 kind of came together at a bar like side car for us so it's a lovely neighborhood and we got a lot of love from delhi and i think uh, and i think we were really lucky to you know be at a time where uh, where everything was almost people were traveling a lot you know or experimenting a lot Uh, seeing a lot and you know uh, being very very extremely you know uh, driven by you know what's happening in the global uh, F&B scene as well and uh, i think we were at the right time at the right place and uh, that that really worked for us as well in terms of consumers i don't know 10 years back how sidecar would have been received uh, i then i would basically be... <laughs> to say delhi has become cooler <laughs> no i mean delhi has always been cool i mean i don't think i mean i'm not saying that but at all <laughs> but what i'm going to say is that yeah i mean uh, we 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 got i think at, we were there at a time when people were ready to experiment were trying a lot of new things traveling a lot more being more experimental you know and uh, appreciating good things in life Absolutely. i mean you know i think that comes across from lifestyle changes and like you know today we are sitting almost yeah four years down the line of running the bar uh, you know i think it's the consumers which are driving it i mean they are the ones who are asking for the new cocktails for what what they drank in new york last week or where they they had something in paris somewhere and that's what they're asking for it's not us telling them what to order or what to buy yeah and a bit about what's kind of drinks what's what sidecar doing <clears throat> yeah so you know at sidecar the focus has always been because it's a bartender's bar so definitely the first way to define it as a bartender's bar is of course the cocktail menu and what we offer as a drink strategy and uh, right from this is a third menu that we've done in the last four years and uh, we've we've completely you know try to make it as unique as possible so if you talk about the latest menu that we have which is called dear delhi it is purely about being original in terms of our offering right so we try to offer something that we are very confident about whether it's flavor whether it's culture whether it's the story in the cocktail or whether it's even the balance of the drink and that is what dear delhi is all about the, the, the 10 drinks are about flavors from around delhi and in some it is the heritage in some it's the history and in some it's purely about how delhi is a multicultural city which offers all sorts of flavors right from the spice to the herb to the fruits all of it coming together in a nice blend apart from this what is also very critical is you know there is there is also technique right so i think the 10 cocktails that we have in offer is a good blend of technique as well so you right from a clarified cocktail to a cocktail that is very old school full bodied uh, and then to a cocktail which is very classy as well right so there is a cocktail called sadar guza which is a pure depiction of let's say a manhattan right but with a touch of an indian flavor to it similarly there is there is something known as dilly six which is a clarified drink yet the flavor is very very prominent the flavor of the rose which is very very prominent in the drink so it's a great amalgamation of all of these things together right which is which is critical to defining this place as a bartender's bar purely defined by the cocktails and the and the concept behind these cocktails yeah and i think i mean what i love the most about your delhi is the fact that it's literally everything around you you can see and you can actually almost it's, it's a throwback right constant nostalgia that happens to you i mean yeah whether it's do you special a lot of people a lot of do you people tag the cocktail and it's really sweet i think i mean a lot of their their stories come out in you know in the in the social media as well a lot of uh, we've also created really nice postcards that everybody can take back along with them every drink that you order you get a postcard along with that so it's kind of like a little keepsake a little memory a little nostalgia that's working really well um the great thing also about that menu is that everything is locally sourced so we are also being more conscious you know from a from a sustainability point of view we are not sourcing anything from outside of delhi uh, which was also a conscious decision for us to not make to make sure that you know we're not bringing something from japan and something from korea and you know adding on to the you know mindless you know fuel and miles that that go into it so you know the idea was to make the the, the local ingredients hero and and tell the local story and 
I feel that in a global platform that you are, thankfully that we are on, uh, it, it lends a great story also for a lot of people who are discovering. You're almost on a rediscovery of Delhi and your home city all over again when you come to the bar and try the menu. So I love that about, uh, about And the excitement. I think the excitement yeah. amongst the consumers. And I, I've known of people who have come to the bar and tried all 10 and then come up to us and said, look, I've got all the 10 postcards. Yeah. Yeah. And then, then, then they're like, oh, yeah, you, you didn't keep my city or my 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 location, right? So you get all the queries like, why is Ms. Damodi not in the menu? You know? So yeah. So maybe part two <laughs> later. And this thing about being the best. What does it feel like? No, it's it's. I think it's it's purely the, the effort that that the team has kind of made and the recognition of the effort, right? So it's it's not just a one-off thing. It is purely about being able to perform and deliver in a very consistent manner. And recognition, I think, gives you that encouragement. It also makes you feel good that okay, people do notice it. You, you know, when you do something good, you get noticed or you get recognized. So it's a great reward. At the same time, it's also a responsibility. It's also a responsibility where every time a customer now walks into Saika, he's walking into one of the world's best bars. So he has that expectation, very high expectation coming out of it. So therefore, we need to, we need to be on our toes. We need to raise the bar every time we walk in here. Every day is a new day for us. Every day is a day where we want to improve uh, you know, further, you know, so there is no end to not not achieving the next level of, let's say, service or cocktails or, or concept, or all of that. Uh, but yeah, it does feel great because we are the only bar from India and then, you know, it's always wonderful to be able to represent India yeah. in a global platform, tell the Indian story and also let the world know that there is a culture known as a bar culture which did exist and it's only getting better. Yeah, I mean, when, when we were there ourselves in Barcelona this year, I think the just the inquisitiveness and the excitement to see people from India, it was like we almost felt semi-exotic, but also really excited to be there. And uh, I mean, it was that, that level where uh, we were literally like, oh, wow, I mean, um, there were a lot of people who were like, okay, wow, we didn't even know, you know, India has cool bars or what's the bar scene like, are people drinking? I think there are a lot of, you know, typically, I mean, you, any, you go to any other, you know, foreign country, you'll have, you'll be, you'll have your own notions till you've not visited them or, or not experienced them, right? So I think we could, I mean, I'm hoping that we could, you know, break those barriers and that ceiling where uh, we're also a great f &B, you know, country and we, we have great hospitality and we want to kind of showcase that to as many people and hoping that next year more Indian bars and, yes. you know, restaurants get into the list and we have a larger contingent, hopefully bigger than the South Americans. And make a lot of noise. <laughs> and make a lot more noise. <laughs> yeah.